Welcome back to Automotive Electronics. Today we got in front of us a 94 Corolla. Oh, we are not switching cameras very well today. There we go. That is a 94 Corolla. And what we typically would complain on this one. Alright, let me just show you. This sucker was in here like this. This was on here like this. That's what your 94 Corolla looks like. Yeah. Something along those lines. Hang on, let me get you flopped over here because the camera is not acting the way I want it to here. If I can do this quickly. There we go. All right, that's that. Here's your 94 Corolla. The problem with this, as told to me by the customer, was that the cluster was the speedometer was working but very slow to respond. Okay. And uh, you got four screws in the back, which I've already taken out. These bad boys right here. And then that will just pop right out. The problem that we see with these are these three capacitors. One, two, three. All right. I don't see any leakage on these, but this is the only... Thing that I know to go wrong with these cars. So we are going to remove said capacitors. Oh, this camera's got the same problem. Let me get over there and fix it too. There we go. Alright, now everything all looks straight on the camera. On the, on the video. Alright. So get these capacitors out. Pretty simple. You just heat them up, remove the solder as best you can. And we got here actually be easier to uh, see when I get them out. I'm going to go ahead and mark these. The negative side on this one is here. I'm over the kind of technology. Is it here. Uh, he can hear you, but my name's Ryan on this side. So what we have on hand, 22 microfarad, 25 volt. That should work. Same capacitance, just a little higher voltage. You can go up on voltage. Should stick with the same capacitance always, but uh, you can go up on the voltage a little bit. Not going to hurt anything. Alright. Now to get that sucker in there. We may have to pre-cut this one. 
and it is a little taller form factor than the last one so I have to get inventive here see if I can just bend these up as soon as you get the legs in you can pull it in from the other side I'm going to need some readers to do this one though saying here is to just kind of tug get those to come on up and in and then what we can do is just bend it over a little bit like so that's not going to hurt anything get that leg where I want it Show you what I did here to keep that in place. Come on. And snip, snip. All right, that one's in place, and as you can see, I just laid it flat on the board. The legs are not touching each other, so there's no issue there. And, yep, yeah, we're good to go. And we do have the negative on the negative side. Just double-checking that. This one didn't fit nearly as well either. However, um, I don't see that it's not in obstructing anything for the tripodometer. There's no movement there, so... This is the main odometer up top, which is stationary and just rolls, so we should be good. Now the last one should be the easiest one. Go ahead and grab it. Well, we'll grab it, we'll grab it in a minute. on that one a little bit. Yeah, that one comes right out. And we got ourselves 100 UF 25 volt. We got those. solder it in place. And 
that, my friends. Should have your uh, Corolla speedometer back up and running at top in top shape. My theory is on this one that uh, the capacitors getting weak since they are known to fail. This car is a 94, so we're talking about 30 years here already that they've been in there. And we are going to just go ahead and replace them. Go with that. I don't have a bench plug set up for these. Although we got ignition labeled. It should work. If it doesn't, I won't post this. But if it's posted, it'll work like a champ. Right, we'll get those back together. There were a couple screws in here. No, not that one. These two. that we are back together everything's tight we should be good to go so I can get back to answering phone calls on a Monday morning You guys know what to do <laughs> get yourself down in that comment section tell me how poorly I did that job that's fine oh you, you can say whatever you want it's all good and um, but if I helped you out like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one